On the shores of Bay of Bengal is the little mystery of Asia, the land of rivers, the land of Royal Bengal Tigers, the playground of six seasons, a democratic nation with wondrous cultural diversity, soulful traditions and religious freedom. 24 degrees north, 90 degree east is gloriously beautiful Bangladesh. But this scenic nation was born out of the ashes of fire like a phoenix, overcoming the lashes thrown by the adversaries. On March the 7th, 1971, the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, called upon the people of this country to unite to fight for liberation, for democracy, for justice. <laughs> Through a nine-month-long blood-stained war, sacrificing hundreds of thousands of lives, Bangladesh was born on 16th December 1971. The land of rivers, the land of democracy, the land of brave hearts. Thus found her place in the world map. Soon after the liberation, Bangladesh Navy was formally inaugurated by the father of the nation with the promise to protect the realm of Bangladesh at sea. Even though the Navy started its journey from scratch, Bangabandhu rightly comprehended the necessity of a capable Navy considering the geopolitical significance of this region. It was him from where the modernization effort began. The wheel of development started turning once the daughter of Bangabandhu held the helm of the nation. Developing every sector of the country, her government made considerable development in Bangladesh Navy. The current government, led by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, envisioned the three-dimensional Bangladesh Navy. She adopted Forces Goal 2030 a long-term modernization plan for the armed forces in 2009. Bangladesh Navy got special importance due to the strategic significance of Bay of Bengal. Now Bangladesh Navy has two submarines, a rising naval aviation, an unbendable special force, SWATs, around 80 of modern frigates, corvettes, minor surface combatants, auxiliaries and amphibians. Bangladesh Navy has stepped into the new era of three-dimensional force in true sense. With the pace of present growth, we can hope to see a fully modernized Bangladesh Navy by 2030. Besides the development of military capability, Bangladesh Navy gives the highest priority on training to build skilled and efficient manpower for Navy as well as for the nation. Special initiative has been taken to upgrade the existing training facilities along with infrastructural, technological and qualitative development of the training schools, establishment and training curriculum. Bangabandhu complex with fully modernized and world-class training facilities has been inaugurated at Bangladesh Naval Academy by the Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Notably, a good number of foreign students are being trained in Bangladesh Navy in every trades and branches. Two dedicated training ships conduct the onboard training, both for under-trainee officers and sailors. These ships are regularly going for training cruises to orient the trainees with foreign ports and waters. Bangladesh Navy has successfully grown its own expertise and manpower to undertake all types of repair, refurbish and maintenance work related to BN ships and establishment through its own dockyards and repair facilities. Bangladesh Navy is one of the forerunners to uphold the legacy of shipbuilding heritage of this region. 
shipyards run by the Navy had been building warships of different types. A number of patrol crafts, large patrol crafts, harbor tug, submarine tug, landing crafts are already in service. As the third largest body of water in the world and containing vital sea lanes, the importance of the Indian Ocean has long been clear. Accordingly, the adjoining Bay of Bengal is gradually gaining much importance strategically. Bangladesh Navy being one of the focal agency to ensure maritime security of the Bay of Bengal undertakes its responsibility with highest dedication and professional way. Bangladesh Navy protects the territorial integrity and national interests at the Bay of Bengal besides its wide-ranging peacetime roles. Above all, the HADR, that is Humanitarian and Disaster Relief and Maritime Search and Rescue, receive the highest priority. Being a vibrant agent of peace, Bangladesh Navy has been taking part in United Nations peacekeeping operations since 1993 and coming to aid whenever required. Amongst the countries of Indian subcontinent, only Bangladesh Navy ships have been deployed in Maritime Task Force of United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon, flying Bangladeshi flag at Mediterranean Sea with pride and honor. We, Bangladesh Navy, are pledged to go to any length for the development of the nation and be an instrument of global peace and prosperity. Bangladesh Navy, in war and peace, invincible at sea.